Welcome to the Bernie Sanders Show. <laughs> you guys, welcome to the Bernie Sanders Show. Come on, have a seat. I don't care about your dumb emails. I don't care about your emails. The Democratic Party is a sinking ship. Sinking. Bernie Sanders is launching Bernie TV and he's already begun. He's doing it. It is popping on Facebook. Now, he's done this in a very casual manner. It's, it starts off here. It says, Thursday afternoon and Bernie Sanders is on TV. Is on a TV set about to go live when he realizes there's a problem. Does this make me look fat? That's not how he said it. It's more like, did this make me look fat? <laughs> did it make me look fat? See, because Bernie's personable. Not really a comedian, but he's personable and he's, he's witty. Okay, I've had pe I know people who know Bernie Sanders, and they say he's very analytical. They know him personally. They say he's very analytical. Not a guy for a bunch of chit chat, but he has a warm side, and that warm side is shining through on Bernie TV. So anybody out there who's been co-opting Bernie's name, running your little media channel, you might have to change that. <laughs> you know, you might have to do that. Um, President Donald Trump's Twitter account may be the most powerful media outlet in the country. Let me repeat that for people. President Donald Trump's Twitter account may be the most powerful media outlet in the country. Stop treating, stop tweeting, Trump. It's more powerful than MSNBC. Why would I stop doing it? That's why they want him to stop. It's powerful. They can't control the message. I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying, but ho, here comes Bernie Sanders, the most popular politician, vastly more popular than, than Trump, who's starting his own TV. Do you get what I'm saying? He's starting his own thing. This is huge, huge. I wish you were here live. I wish we were in the same place, so I know you would be clapping right now. So anyway, one of the first acts after taking over the Democratic National Committee, Chairman Tom Perez started a series of conversations with party stars called Democrats Live. <laughs> something tells me, <laughs> something tells me the Tom Perez show ain't gonna be that good. And I know I use a lot of bad language right there. I don't care, it's Tim Black show. Check this out. Tom Perez, well, you know what? Maybe I got it wrong. It depends on what Tom Perez, you know, the new chairman of the DNC, it depends on, you know, the flavor of the show. Does Tom Perez sounds like that uncle that smokes like three cartons of cigarettes a day? Hey, come on. Come on, Democrats. And all the time, the Democrats, we need to get together. We need to build a consensus. <laughs> God, I can't even do it. We need to build up. I can't. It's hard. It's, it's, it's grinding on my... But anyway, Tom Perez realizes the power of media. So now everybody wants to be YouTubers. Everybody wants to be digital content creators, like people like your man Tim Black and so many of us out there. You see what they're doing? They want to shut us down because they want to take our place. You see what's going on, right? You, you got it? You follow me? The powers that be know how powerful we are. Some people are pivoting already. We got Tom Perez starting the Democrats live show. We got Bernie Sanders doing Bernie TV and we got so many other people doing it. But you understand what I'm saying? They realize this is a direct line. Then we got Donald Trump doing it, doing it well. You get it? All right, so back to Sanders show. Sanders, thanks to his prison... Thanks to his presidential campaign, is a content marketer's dream. In media speak, Sanders is a cross-platform platform brand with a loyal and unusually engaged audience in the key demographic of 18 to 34 years old, which is by also, which is also my strongest demographic. That's right. But they don't want Tim Black on their network, though. Oh, they don't want that. I might say something. I might say something they don't like. All right, so here's the deal, guys. Bernie Sanders is entering the fray, and I'm glad he's doing it. He he calls it like he sees it for the most part. Sometimes I think, he, I think he pulls back a little bit, but for the most part, what you're in store for is real talk from somebody who's actually getting some stuff done. I'm looking forward to it. I want to check it out. And remember, Bernie Sanders spends no marketing money, no advertising. He doesn't. It's all on his name. And other than Trump, I think Bernie can be the biggest draw in the digital media space. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section about Bernie TV and what that means. Now, all we got to do is help fund it. Well, heck, he might have the money already. <laughs>